Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to the break and looks like Walmart's got these uh what you what you call these hockey power cubes again. I think uh I don't think I've ever opened these before. I think when the, the last time these were still in the last time these were out, that might have been pre-COVID. And I think just probably wasn't worth it because you could probably just buy the loose packs for the same amount or even cheaper. Because uh, I guess if you guys don't know, these are 25 bucks a box. Seen a couple on YouTube, um, just people posting their breaks on or their, their results on Instagram and Facebook. And um, looks okay. The only thing is, I actually bought these online. I didn't get these in store. Um, when I heard these came out, I checked a couple of Walmarts, didn't have any. So either I missed out or they never got them. I'll still be looking here and there. But um, so I ordered these online. But obviously when you order online, you don't get to pick which boxes you get. They just give you whatever. So the ones I got here, I got uh, boxes, or sorry, packs of 2021 Series 2. So that's potential, like uh, Kaprasov and uh, Stutzel. Canvas for both of them are also in there. And I got this. So these aren't really great packs here. MVP, uh, 1819 MVP and 1920 Parkers. So that's a little unfortunate. Unfortunate for 25 bucks. I'd say it's not worth. Uh, I guess we'll see what were the other packs. There's eight packs. Just from all the other breaks I've seen, uh, there's gonna be four packs of score. The the red ones, I think it's 11, 12 year. And then um, I think you usually get like two series, one or two packs, and then it's two Parkers or MVP, or you might get some like kind of old school, I think flair and stuff like that. So, um, you know, obviously if you're in store, chances, uh, I've seen a bunch with 16, 17 packs, series two. And, you know, obviously, if you had the choice, I'm sure, i say 90% of the people will probably choose that 1617 pack. Just because of how pricey 1617 is, it's ridiculous now. And I guess you can get the chance at uh, Marner. I don't know how much, like, Marner is going for now, but, like, you know, chance at Marner, Young Gun, Line A's in there. You know, 1617, the rookie crop is super good. I don't know, I'm missing a couple of their names from 1617. Let's get these two boxes open. I got, yeah, Series 2. So that's not bad, I guess. There's Cappy, like I said, Cappy and Stutzel. Both the regular and canvas young guns are in there. Let's get this open. Oh, and you get, what, 80, 80, 80, geez, 80, um, no, 50, like kind of random cards. So last time I opened up a uh, Walmart thing, it was pretty good. Uh, what was it? It was that deck box thing, and I got like all the young guns, or every single pack had a young gun. So that was good. So I guess you can see there, 1920 MVP. I don't think I've ever opened that up that before. Here are some Series 2. Oh, 1516 Series. Okay, wait, never mind. I guess I kind of miss... Oh, sorry, I was saying... Okay, not bad. Here's the victory. Okay, let's just get all the packs first. Sorry. I think what I said earlier only had... Uh, what did I say? Eight packs. Eight packs. Okay, for some reason I thought there was only four packs in here. But eight packs. Uh, well, let's just get all the box. Let's get all the base cards and stuff out. So nothing else is in there. Let's move that out of the way. I guess you can use this as a nice storage box or something. It's box number two. So here's the Parker site. In, uh, sorry, 1920s MVP. Uh, a couple scores here. And uh, oh, okay, another 15, 16. Series two though, so Jack Eichel now in uh in uh Buffalo. Let's kind of get the cards. Oh, I got some sleeved card. Okay, I got some sleeved card. Oh, oh, what? All these. Okay. Okay, hey, it looks the box looks good, or this specific one looks good. Um, sorry, let's move these out of the way. This is something different, so let's take it, you know, nice, slow, and steady. What the heck? All those cards had sleeves on. They're all, like, numbered, too. Okay, let's, go, let's have a look at the packs. So, 2021 Series 2, there was two of them. So, each one had a... Each box had one. Each box had a pack of 15, 16 Series 2. So, got that McDavid in there. For some of you kind of longer-time viewers, you know how that what happened there. So, maybe... Maybe a canvas young gun David. Um, uh, what is this? Eight score? Yes, eight score. Uh, what is this? Some couple MVPs, victory. I don't think I've opened up this before. And Parkers. So let's, let's just throw these on the side for now. Let's go into base cards. Uh, what I say? There's 50 cards here. Looks like I yeah, just base, obviously. So this is uh, this current year's base card. This is from series one. So here's August uh, Backlin. Let's just quickly. 
I'm assuming there's no French or suit variants. It's just going to be all base from, yeah, again, 2021 Series 1 or 2 or Extended Series. You guys can kind of see them here. I'll quickly go through them. Okay, I'm kind of looking forward to the, the next box where I had all those sleeved cards. That's pretty good. Let me, I, I watched only like two or three videos of this. I didn't watch like a bunch. I don't know if there's even more out there on YouTube, but uh, all these sleeved cards and like those at Patrice Bergeron, number 25. Okay, Devin Dubnik, Bobby Ryan, you'll see. What is this from? This is from 1819 OPG. Assuming this is from the, like just the, the regular OPG, like, I don't know, like retail or or hobby you can get. I don't open OPG, so I'm not sure, but I'm assuming it's probably just from OPG retail. Here's a retro, okay, retro Jason Spezza there. Armia, Connor, Clefbaum, here's a fur or all-star. So I guess a couple inserts or parallels in there. Okay, cool, neat, neat. Okay, here's the Okay, let's just have a look. The non sleeve Oh my god, these are all 25. Are these like they're literally looks like they're all numbered to 25. Okay, let's just so again, this is a uh, series one. So again, just all these. Let me quickly go through them here. Anything Nashville? I guess while well, I go through these, uh, OPG Platinum's coming out on uh, one of these are fat packs, maybe just fat packs kind of thrown in here. Braden Shen insert. Um, OPG Platt's coming out on Wednesday, and um, I'll be getting a box for myself, and I'll be doing a four-box pick-your-team uh, group break on Wednesday. So if you're interested on that, uh, follow me on Instagram, matt 18 just like my YouTube. It's all based there. For the pick-your-team breaks, I, I let my Instagram guys, um, I give them kind of, I guess, first dibs since most of my guys are on there. Then I'll kind of send it out to some of the other guys that I contact through like text and email and stuff that don't use Instagram. So if you're interested, okay, oh, oh, Brandon Tanev, okay. Okay, so yeah, just a quick plug. If you're interested in a group break, OPG Platt, just uh, follow me on Instagram. All in the description there. So Kirk Mueller, number to 25, what is this? 92, 93 Fleer, is this like, I might have to do some research, but I know Upper Deck has a, Thing where I think it was called Midnight, but this is that was more recent. This is old stuff, so I don't know what this is like buybacks or these are all actual out of 20. Oh, 25 anniversary. There we go, right there. It's all stamped, so I'm not sure where this is from. I'll probably Google it. Um, Ed, uh, Ed Oldsec, or if you know, maybe leave a comment if you know what where this is, uh, where this is from. Uh, Nick, let's go to the let's go to the back. That's recent stuff. That's like 16, 17 flare. Chris Lindbergh, so these are all. 25, Adrian Plastic, okay, Troy Looney, none of these guys are in my time, so don't know any of them, Mike Donnelly, Eric Lindros, I know his name, Paul Stanton, never heard of him, Drake Kajula, okay, these are the 16, 17, I'll just start from here, Drake Kajula here, former Oiler, number 299, Fleer Ultra Rookie, this is, yeah, Fleer Showcase, right, yep, 16, 17, Fleer Showcase, these are the William Nylander top rookies, you usually get these in like the Walmart stuff. Greg Pulaski, top rookie gold of Marner, Craig Ludwig, Brian Marchment, here's a Nick Dowd, 25, I'm not sure where he is, we're 25, here's a Drew Dowdy, he's currently injured, Brandon Tanev, this is nice, he's, uh, he's with uh, uh, the Kraken, I'll put a top loader, he deserves one, he's, he's leading their team in Goals, maybe points as well. And yeah, this is 1617. Was he a rook? I guess. Oh, I guess he was a rookie in 1617. And uh, Patrice Bergeron, number 25, white. Uh, what's it called? White hot. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I from the boxes I've seen, I don't think I've. They're all just yeah, just base cards. Half of these are all numbered. Okay, nice. Okay, let's. Okay, we're 10 minutes in. Let's let's get into the packs. Uh, okay, so obviously we'll leave these for the last four here. Let's start off with score. Eight score, what year is this? 12, 13, not 11, 12, it's 12, 13. And these are the ones that have the holes. These are like the hanger packs. I wonder where they get these from. 
I must have really overproduced these because yeah every <laughs> pretty much every Walmart uh, mystery kind of box thing has all these I'll just go through this quick it's already already kind of long the video here Shane Doan Ryan Miller Cam Ward was on the back there uh, you can get autos out of these um, I'll probably chances are pretty low there is chances at autos uh, Eastern Conference, Pozo, Payarvi, Kutcher, Sheldon Surrey, Rookie, Jacob Silverberg. All right. So, uh, I guess a prominent player in the NHL right now with the Ducks. I believe he is injured. Ducks surprisingly doing uh, pretty good. Lots of teams surprisingly doing pretty good. Ray Emery here, he passed away a couple years ago. Hodgson, Parise, the Islanders now. He's a Kim, uh, Kim Alou. Kim Alou, I think you guys should all know his whole controversy with Calgary a few years ago. It's Gagne there. Chara with the Islanders. La Perrier. It's a Craig Smith. First goal, all right. Too bad there's no card about him. <laughs> Missing on an empty netter, just roofing it over the net. That'd be funny if like a set had like parallel or uh, like um, inserts that were kind of like like bloopers of the league. That'd be that'd be kind of neat. Jake Gardner, Ponagrowski, Andropov. He's a rookie. Andrew Judry. No idea who that guy is. Judry Calteris with the Oilers. Yeah, that'd be cool. I mean, I guess, like, I don't know, what little bloopers happened recently? Be that. I don't know, own goals, stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know if that'd be a nice insert or not. Brian Boyle, he's with uh, Pittsburgh. First goal, Ryan Johansson. Tyler Ennis. I can remember, like, well, this is years ago, but, like, that one penalty, sh no, shootout or penalty shot, Stamkos. Where he like pretty much trips like in the slot. Denny Breer, Martin Broder, Hemsky, Kostitsin, uh, Robert Mayer, Blake Jeffrey on. All right, last, last score. Matt Mielsen, Rick Nash, Emmelin, Marcus Foligno. He's doing pretty good in uh, Minnesota now. Backus, he just retired. Oh, check it. Wendell Clark. This is cool. I've never pulled a, a insert like this in score. Matt Molson. Numbered, not numbered. Check it. Nice. That's cool. I'm assuming Wendell Clark was like an enforcer back in the day. All right. That's cool. Yeah, I never pulled that insert before. So that's, a, that's a change. That's a nice, nice little change for me. Okay, so there's... Uh, what was that called? I was... Uh, uh, score now let's get to some of these uh, let's do a victory uh, I think I've opened up victory probably in like a in our Walmart mystery box before 910 who's in that is that Taylor Hall or is that Stamkos it might be Stamkos rookie year I think oh these are all sticking David Booth he near the end of his career has bounced around as like cap, salary cap, uh, you know, around like Anaheim and not Anaheim, Arizona and Florida, training around just for salary cap reasons. I think he got overpaid by by someone. Jeez, here's Alice, Alice Hemsky though from the Oilers. Okay, it's probably just a base card, but I want to see who's behind him. Oh, Mikel Backlund. There we go, rookie. Mikel Backlund, pretty good player there in Calgary. Solid player. Uh, Kozlov, uh, Mike Ribeiro, he's some free thing, and probably another base. Yep, anti Mietinen. All right, cool. Got a nice rookie there of Backlund. He said a prominent player in Calgary and in the NHL. Parkers. Let's do Parkers last. This is the MVP. Let's, let's just open the older stuff. 1819 MVP. Um. The top rookies aren't in here. I think it's mainly just the carryover rookies, which I don't think there's really any good ones. Who 
was this skit? Justin Falk, Connor Hellebuck, Eric Howla, Dustin Brown, and uh, all of your Burke signs. It's all base. I guess so, okay. I think, it, in, like, yeah, an MVP if you want, like, Pedersen or the top rookies. I think they're only in hobby or they're all in redemptions. I forgot how MVP works. There's something nice there, maybe. Was well, a rookie, Jake Gardner. David Pasternak, here's Andrew Ladd, Jake DeBrusque, the rookie of uh, Maxim Mamin. Mam I believe he signed with Toronto not too long ago. I don't know if he's still with them or not, but there's that, 1920, 1920 MVP. See, there's like a one of the Hughes brothers, probably not, but let's see. Landeskog, Ekholm, Panarin. This is the puzzle back. Teovo, Teravainen, Rasmus Dahlin, and whoever that is. Is that Boston or I don't know? It's some yellow there. Boston or Pittsburgh, I guess. Okay, MVP 1920. Here's 1920 Parkhurst. See if you can get an auto or at least a numbered in this. I don't think I've, yeah, I've never pulled an auto in Parker's. I don't think I've pulled a number in Parker's either. So hopefully this is the, it. Doesn't, oh, maybe. There's some shiny cards there. Double hits there, I think. Provorov, Hamannik, he's back. I don't know if he's played yet, though. Schmidt, uh, rookie, Texier, Matt Duchesne. Here's a Carter Hart. Nice. What is this? Nope. What is this? Hot hail snow? Oh my god, so shiny. Kevin Reed. Hailstorm, gee, that's so like shiny. Kyle Turris, yes, Barry Kotkinimi, Mark Edward Vlasic. I can read it through the camera, but when I'm looking through it, like with my eyes, I cannot read that. It's too freaking shiny. All right, that's a nice pack. Hart and uh, Hart and Matthews. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Let's get a Stutzel canvas. Uh, what's his name? Stutzel canvas, Cappy canvas, David canvas. And, I don't know, Jack Eichel regular. I don't know if Jack Eichel canvas is in 15, 16 or not, but... I know McDavid is, so hopefully McDavid's in there. Okay, might be a base pack here. Yeah, Bjork checklist. Yep, base pack. Come on. Let's get that cappy. Okay, here's a young gun. Kreider. Faxa doesn't look oh it's like oh it's a goalie, I think. Uh Matteo. Gage Quinney. Never mind. No goalie. Gage Quinney. Alright, there's one young gun at least. That's that's good. Usually young guns one every four packs. And here's four packs, and here's the one young gun, so that's good. Gage Quinney. I'm pretty sure he's still with He's still with uh, Vegas. Surprisingly. Well, as you know, I guess they, they only trade their first round picks. If you're a non-first round pick with Vegas, you're probably safe. Your first round pick, you're probably... Yeah, like what? They only have like one or two of the first round picks. And that was only from like just the latest draft pick. Uh, the draft years. They would trade all their first round picks in their first two, three years. Okay, 1516, Series 2. I haven't opened up this. I know I opened up a hobby box, for like, pre-COVID. And I think that's pretty much it. And just kind of random packs like this and uh, Walmart things. Bergeron, Holland, Brandon Press. He is a... Oh, that's Calgary. Emile Poirier. Uh, Daniel Sedin, Victor Rask. Eric Stone, Gustav Nyquist. I saw a rookie there, you know, could be McDavid. I don't remember if Series 2... I don't know if it's like this for all years, but I don't remember if Series 2 if it's always a rookie portrait, or sometimes it could be a veteran. And Same with Series 1. Cause, I mean, McDavid's portrait might be in Series 1. I don't know. I haven't opened up enough of this stuff to really... No. Okay, here's a young gun. So no McDavid. Maybe it's a Jack Eichel. That'd be nice. Lucic... Uh, Voracek was all kind of sticking. Dougie Hamilton. I think the young guns after Landis Gog. Yes, it is. Uh, Jimmy Howard. He's a retired Dumba. Adam Larson. I don't think that's Jack Eichel. I don't know. This. this there are many good. I think Shea, Shea Theodore might be in series two. 
Ah, uh, it's a goalie. Who is this? This uh, That's not Enroth. Olmark. Oh, Olmark. That's a good one. He's with Boston now. Um, I don't know if he's... I know it's him and Swayman. I don't know. I'm not really paying much attention to them. I don't know if they're kind of split in the net. But Linus Olmark. Okay, that's not a bad one. Jeez, Jonas Enroth. I think I think he's an old guy. I think he like his young guy's probably like way before 15, 16. Linus Olmark. Okay, two young guns. I'll take it. I should probably buy more of these, do I? I don't remember people getting 15, 16 series two packs in there. Maybe they did. Should double check if they have, then I guess it's kinda I I'd say it's probably worth it then. Just just for the Canvas McDavid. And, you know, the other series, one, two packs, you know, possible Stutzels and Kaprasovs. But here are the young guns, Gage Quinney and Lance Olmark. Not bad. Um, yeah, all these numbered cards. Here's a nice one, Brandon Tanev, of all these ones. So there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video again. Um, if you're interested in that group break for OPG Plat, just uh, give me a follow and I guess message me if you need to. Assuming you know how, you know how Instagram kind of works, so you can kind of figure it out. But... There it is. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.